ce que vous voudriez devenir dans cette vie, ça se trouve entre vos propres mains. Qui tu es Kwanza, on n'a pas chaque jour maïcha, ni la zimaya kokatika communauté. L'itomba na yo penza ni ni mingi na katia bomo yoyo. Bomuntu kai, bojoué omu soa kwigara, mene mene. Sam na inki, ngeme so sana kuzala. All you have to do is put your goals into motion and make it happen. And Dr. Kabash, we would love if you would just kind of introduce yourself. My name is Dr. Chiji Kabash. I was born in Africa in the Democratic Republic of Congo. I am a doctor, I am a community leader, and I am also a father. Growing up in the Democratic Republic of Congo, as you might know, that's a third world country. I'm trying just to tell you, it wasn't an easy, an easy life. When you come to the U.S., you're changing your life. You, you are living another life. Now you're completely stranger to start all over again in another country. My interest in the medical field um, uh, has uh, many reasons. Some people make up their decision about the career, about who they want to be. Or there might be in their life some circumstances that push them to choose as per me when i was back home my mother you know i loved her so much she had a blood pressure problem so when i was seeing her almost disappearing suffering there was nothing i could do and every time we would go to the doctor i always remember this doctor he would just talk to her then come up with a diagnosis then treat her and she was feeling good. Then, you know, I ended up also losing my little brother. So I got to the point where I felt like I needed to do something for my family. That's why I decided to go to medical school. Um, you know, I went there to elementary school, high school and um, college. Graduated in 1996 as a medical doctor and also practiced for three years as a general practitioner. When I got here, I went back again to school at U of A to do my master's in public health, you know, health promotion concentration. And I became also the president of um, the largest immigrant uh, community, which is uh, the Democratic Republic of Congo community of Arizona. That's a nonprofit organization kind of um, bringing together all the Congolese living here in Arizona. You come to the U.S., uh, there, there are barriers to the adjustment, but um, the most important um, thing, like I said, it's the language. Back home, we have Swahili, Lingala, Chiluba, Kikongo, and we have the official language that is French. You know, the barrier always be the language. It's only the language. Learning the language that will open up doors, you know, for schooling, for job, and everything. My greatest responsibility, uh, I always uh, try to make sure my fellow Congolese understand, first of all, the purpose of them being here. You need to understand why are you here? You're here to learn, but how? How you, do you become somebody? You need an education. I will encourage any kid out there, get your education, try to understand who you are, where you want to get, and the education is going to just help you. That key to open up doors for life. I wasn't born a doctor. I was born like them, and I saw somebody doing something that inspired me, and I followed, here I am. So can they. I would like to tell me it's not difficult Anything we know in this world was difficult until somebody get it done. It's all come, you know, to discipline. It, it's all come to the passion, you know. You need to know who you are, who you want to become. Try to be who you've been created to be. 
Like I said, let only the sky be your limit. You can get any education you want. It's up to you. I got the education. I got the chance to be somebody. Get inspired by me. But you have something that's unique to you. You have a unique dream just to you. Follow that dream. Don't let it die. Keep it alive. If anybody did it, so can you. Thank you so much. <laughs>